All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making this video on how I go about tapping my Hot Wheels or Matchbox, whatever. So you basically, if you want to use this tiny little screw, See if I can get it to focus. That's uh, good enough. All right, so I start by drilling with this drill bit here. This is the 116. I'll leave links in the video description for everything that I use here. Let me get the tap that fell on the floor. And this is a tap that I use. And if you don't want to tap, if you're okay with using uh, two-part epoxy or any type of glue, you can use this drill bit, which is a lot more stronger or a lot stronger than the small one. I'll leave a link. Also, I think these are... Is that 5 8, I think. I don't know. I'll leave a link. This will do the same job, you just won't be able to. You can use a screw, but it's not gonna hold on as a threat. So, you could, in the past, what I've done is if I'm in a hurry, or if I'm in a hurry, or I don't have the 116 drill bit, what I do is use, I use the big one, right. And then the screw just falls inside the the hole that I just made, and just put two part epoxy in there, right? So this trick, or this, what I'm about to show you, uh, it was uh, a guy on my Facebook page that showed me this uh, other way of doing it. So what I always did was I had this T handle and you basically put the tap in there and you screw it so once you drill your uh, Hot Wheels you gotta basically align right and just start working at it bam bam right but since the Hot Wheels is so small, you know, and you know, it's kind of tricky, right? So, he showed me this. This is a set of uh, tools, I think it's to work on a RC helicopter, I think. So basically, they're all the same in size, just the tip is different, right? So a little bit of a cannibalism here. I'll just use the same one here. Open this up. Remove. All right. So I put in the tap. Tie it. And now I have a more comfortable way of tapping the hot wheels okay. once I do that I come back you can try on the screw as you can see works perfect it's on there very good that's how I do it and I've seen a lot of videos where you got have a lot of guys doing customs and I don't know why they wait until the end once they have everything painted to tap a hole I mean you, you can do it that way too, but you know the way I do it once I open the car I tap the hole Then I forget about that 
So if I strip the paint and paint it, I don't have to worry about that. Then at the end, all I just have to do is fit it and put the hole back on. I mean, the, the chassis and screw back on. And if I'm gonna be changing wheels or anything like that, I do that before I paint. So I take care of all of that. That way when I paint, I know everything's gonna fit together and I don't have to worry about scratching the paint. So that should be it for this video guys. And again, I've been using this little bin, which uh, helps. I don't know if you've seen this. I did this a while ago. I, put, I posted a picture on, uh, on my uh, Instagram. So I kind of use the same drill bit to go at it first. And I used a uh, uh, punch that I got from Harbor Freight. It's just one of those goes cluck. Mark the hole and then I just started drilling. And uh, so thank you for watching. Peace.